We are dungeoning and dragoning more. Yay. Uh, okay. So, even though we're down one player at the moment, uh, we shall pick up where we left off last time, which was basically one day's travel outside of Camp Righteous, the site of the uh, crocodile man statue thing. Um, <clears throat> after exploring basically the first little chamber inside of that, you guys kind of decided, uh, well, let's, let's not pursue this at the moment. And so you, uh, left the ruins of Camp Righteous, made your way further down the river Ocean Star, and, uh, well, Lucius nearly got eaten by an assassin vine, so that was a good time. Um, <laughs> we pick things up, uh, basically, let's see, I think, did we get the long rest in? Are you guys healed up or no? No. Uh, I am not. I, I have all of my health. stuff, so. Yeah, I didn't lose anything. I didn't lose health, but I have my spells and my bardic inspiration. Okay. So, yeah, we'll... The, the, pretty much ended at the end of the day last time, so we'll say you guys got a long rest. So, you know, if you happen to be a tiefling who got chewed on a little bit, or, well, constricted a bit, I guess, uh, go ahead and bump all that HP back up there. And we pick things up at dawn of the following day. And so you wake up to a misty morning um, <clears throat> a thick heavy um, almost oppressive mist has kind of rolled in over the uh, uh, the rainforest and it's well <clears throat> a bit difficult to really see too much in front of your face um so let me go ahead and... Well, first of all, what's the plan for you guys? Are you uh, heading down the river? Uh, like, further toward like where Camp Vengeance is marked? Or do you have other plans? I'm fine with following the river for everybody else's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Um, okay. So, you, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, prep for the day and Scorn, um, with the assistance of Azaka, begins to chart a course through the, uh, the, the misty rainforest and, uh, most of the day goes by rather uneventfully. Um, toward the end of the day, however, you do... Um, as, as you're making your way down or up the river, um, <clears throat> you get to a point where uh, I think probably Azaka stops you and kind of looks back, getting all of your attention, and says... Something up ahead. Looks like a body, but hard to tell in the fog. Uh, at this point, you see, basically out of my shirt sleeve, just crawls a snake, and it just kind of <laughs> takes off and starts flying. Okay. About, about ten feet up in the air, just flying mm -hmm. over the area. Okay. Strato Snick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so you send Stratos over there, and it appears as though this is, in fact, a body. Uh, um, <clears throat> looks like a, uh, a human 
kind of decked out in adventurer, explorer kind of gear. Um, pretty clearly dead. But, um, yeah, that's, I think, what you make out. All right. I will tell the group. Well, should we go investigate it? Or just leave it? I mean, you can. Let's we'll see if he has anything <laughs> useful. Does... Can I... Can I look around to see if there are traps? Um... Make a perception check at disadvantage. Oh, no. It's really misty. You don't see any traps. <laughs> no traps. I should. Okay, so I'll just be like, well, I, I don't think it's trapped, so. Do I see traps? Uh, no, you do not. Alright, I'll start walking up towards it. Okay. I follow a few steps behind. Alright. Uh, so, Thorv, you are the first one to the body then. And, um... Yeah, I mean... Looking, you know, getting getting a close look. Um, male adventurer, probably. Um, a lot of... where you gather his supplies would have been, seems to have been uh, rifled through to some extent. Although you notice the way um, the way the body is lying on the ground, it's almost as though uh, he fell on something. <laughs> There's just a slight arch to the back, um, suggesting that he's like lying on his belly on top of something. Ooh. I want to poke him with my sword, see if it does anything. <laughs> he explodes. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you poke him with your sword, and nothing happens. Okay, I want to use it to flip him over. Okay. Um, so yeah, you kind of gingerly roll the body over, and uh, yeah, as soon as the the body kind of flops onto its back, you see uh, sticking out of this individual's chest is a uh, nearly black colored knife. Ooh. Okay, I'll step back and see if anybody wants to touch the knife. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nope, uh, not me. <laughs> can I make a Narcana check on it to find out if it's magical? Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, nothing <laughs> seems to suggest it's magical, but you never know. Right, seems hey, fine to me. She pulls you. it out. Oh. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Fib, you walk up and grab the knife and pull it out. And as you do, there's a nasty squelching sound, and you have a knife. <laughs> Yay, I have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> so um it, are you are you planning on like hanging on to the knife or are you just checking it out um yeah I would hold on to it but I didn't know Taylor said or it sounded like he wanted to do something uh huh well I was just gonna say um could I cast identify and touch it with uh, Stratos. Um, you can cast through contact with him, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, so that should work. Okay. I was gonna say, had you not touched it, I would have just identified it with Stratos. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you roll a one. She likes to live dangerously. <laughs> she didn't think there's anything wrong with it, and I guess yeah. she was right. Uh, yeah. she wipes it off on the grass. Actually, okay. no. She cleans it with precipitation. 
Yeah, or fancy. Like, oh no, she doesn't. I don't have that. It's my other character. <laughs> okay, but she I she wipes it off on the grass. Water. Okay, are you going to? Yeah. I can Yay! My knife is clean. Is it? It's just a black knife. So kind it knife is an obsidian knife that is worth about twenty-five gold. <gasps> I need gold. <laughs> <laughs> What kind but you of don't question is... why the knife is worth that much. <laughs> it's obsidian. Yeah, that sounds useful. <laughs> <laughs> what um what stats do the knife use? Probably uh, dexterity. Hmm. Um yeah, I'd probably stat it as a dagger. Okay. That doesn't do that much damage though if you think about it. Yeah. Can I give this guy a once-over just to make sure he doesn't have anything in a secret pocket or something? Uh, sure. Make an investigation check. Do I know if obsidian is used for a particular purpose or just to look fancy? Um, make a history check? Okay, uh, so first of all, Lucius does not find anything extra really hanging around. Yep. Um, the only other items left on this, uh, this guy are basically the tattered bits of his clothes that haven't uh, been torn away by the, uh, you know, few scavengers and whatnot um, that may have come across the body before you guys. Uh, as far as Cyrene thinking about uses of obsidian, um, I mean, I guess I would say that you know that there are probably uses for obsidian in um, magical or ceremonial items. Uh, however, it is also a highly sought-after material for aesthetic purposes. Okay. So, a little of both, I guess. Okay. 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 So. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, but then... Anything else that you wanted to do while you were here, or just continue on? I can't uh, think of anything else to do with yeah. a dead body. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, you push on for the rest of the day, and, and uh, you make your daily travel progress. Whoops, that's that's the Camp Righteous thing. That's not you guys. <laughs> Hold on. We made progress. Yay! Right. Yeah, apparently I need we to zoom good. in to do this. Let me grab the thing. Okay. Are you breaking uh, our map? No. Only a little bit. It's fine. Everything it's fine. Working Every as intended. Everything is fine. Mm. Everything is fine. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, you have made your progress for the day, and uh, you safely camp for the evening. Moving on. It is a new day, and while the mist has gone away, it is rainy, like a lot of the days. Yay. <laughs> Uh, so, let's have Scorn make his navigation check for the day. Alright. Because our druid abandoned us. <laughs> okay, uh, so, you spend the day trudging along the even more damp than usual riverside and run into no encounters of any kind. Boom. Well, that's quite unexciting. <laughs> well, now, 
we'll, I'm good with unexciting. I just survive, so. Yeah, survive. <laughs> um, okay, so, another day after you and it is a new day and it is a hot uh, still rainy but really really warm so it's just one of those hot wet sticky days even Sadie didn't like it either yeah (laughs) (laughs) you mean with her fur yeah (laughs) She's definitely having a bad fur day. It's all frizzy and everything. <laughs> what What are you doing? <laughs> um, okay. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you poor thing. <clears throat> so, I may have to attend to the dog. But before I do, um, you guys travel for about, about half the day. And, uh, a little bit after lunch, you round a bend in the river and see um, across the flowing waters of the river's ocean star, you see a crude timber fortification, a walled compound with watchtowers and tents um, visible inside it from your slightly elevated position encircled by a ditch bristling with sharpened stakes. A large gatehouse faces your direction on the shore of which are, or on on the shore of the river I should say, uh, are four rowboats tied to a wooden post. Scattered around this fortification are what look like piles of charred humanoid remains and flayed animal carcasses swarming with flies. I'll let you guys think about what to do there as I take care of Sadie. (laughs) Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, I'll be back. We could always just say hi. Yeah, they look like they love guests. Yeah. They look very friendly. <laughs> well, I feel like it's funny because our first, um, the first thing we literally always do is to just send Stratos in, so. <laughs> I feel like he might get exploded in this situation. He'll come back? What does he need, like, eight hours to get him back? <clears throat> no, he ain't coming back after this. I'm out of, uh, ingredients. Oh. That would suck. Mm-hmm. You need... That's weird. I didn't know you needed stuff. Mm-hmm. Familiars are not cheap. Uh, 10 or 15 well, gold per. I'm used to playing spell uh, uh, spellcasters that don't need actual things for their spells. They just use their focuses. I have my focus. This is like one of three or four spells that have a cost. Three, four of your seven spells. Mm-mm. No, I'm talking about in general. <laughs> yeah. I played a wizard for like two levels and then I switched into a sorcerer. You're like, nope. <laughs> well, like Wish, for example. Wish has a cost. Yeah, that's that's understandable. 